Chris with HobbyKing.com and I am crazy excited today to bring you the new Multistar motor. And what this is designed for is our FPV 250 series of uh, uh, little multi-rotors. And it'll of course work on any 250, 230 class uh, multi-rotor uh, multi out there. So what we did uh, with this is we took a look at our 1704. It's a really popular motor. It's a great motor. Um, but some people, as you're putting a lot of load on there and full FPV gear with Mobiuses, we're definitely wanting uh, some more power. So we looked at the market and said, hey, what size motors are out there? What's the most popular? Uh, what would be the best out there? And so we've got here the 2206. I call it the baby beast because this thing is just absolutely awesome. Uh, when you put four of them together, max power is over 1,000 grams on these things. So um, let's go ahead and dive into some of the specs on this thing. The KV is 2150. Uh, and, and the max that we've seen is uh, 2300 uh, KV. And most of them in the 22 uh, style uh, design is 2000 uh, to 2200 uh, KV right in there. Since it is a, a little bit a larger bell, you have more torque, so you don't need quite as much KV. So it was a very fine balance to determine what uh, we wanted as far as the KV between all out power, uh, efficiency, and everything in between. So we'll dive into that a little bit. I've got a, a small little thrust rig right here and we'll compare some uh, powers and some props in just a second. So anyway, it is uh, 22. So what that means is that the electrical stator is 22 millimeters, but if you actually measure the outside can, all 22s are actually 27s. Now the overall height, it's a 2206, which is an indicator of the bell right in there. And the overall height of this comes in right at 17 millimeters. So it's a, a uber small. I've got it right over here on our FPV 250, so you can kind of see uh, exactly the, the size of this motor in comparison to the frame. On the bottom, it's got your standard 16 by 19 uh, mounting on the bottom of that uh, with M3 uh, uh, bolt holes on that. Now, I want to touch on this. This is absolutely critical on this motor when we talk about this mounting. Uh, when we designed it, we wanted it to be as small and uh, light as possible for the size of motor. The other ones that are out there are just beasts of motors in the 2206s and the 2204s. So what we did is reduce the housing uh, size on both the top and the bottom, but that does leave the windings fairly close to the bottom threads. So you need to make sure that the bolts that go through the, uh, the bottom up into the motor are critical on length. You need to measure it, and when you put it in, just make sure that those uh, bolts do not go up and contact the windings and damage your motor. So uh, just be aware of that as just something to consider when you're assembling. This is the overall length of those screws. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other uh, cool things about this particular motor. The uh, smaller 1704 had a smaller shaft, and in harder crashes, people were breaking those shafts. So one of the first things we wanted to do is make this motor uh, efficient. We wanted to make it robust because we know these things are getting run into trees and crashed into to who knows what and all that. So we wanted to definitely make sure that this motor was resilient. So on the bottom, we have got the, the standard uh, 2212 shaft inside this, which comes in right at three millimeter. So it's a three millimeter shaft that runs up right through the center and the same bearings that you'd find in a 2212 motor. Um, now on the top of it, another thing that uh, we wanted to do was increase uh, the contact area with the prop so that when it was clamped down, we weren't having slipping issues and throwing nuts off. Um, so if you notice, we'll take a look at that bottom collar, and that's right at about 11 millimeters, and that matches uh, GenFan style uh, hubs. So you got full contact area now on the lower base, and that uh, beefs this up from uh, bending over as well. Now in the mounting, when we throw a prop on there, I'll just slip that on and put this there, and the nut on top, you will notice, ugh, fumble fingers today, hold on that we've got a little bit of threaded area left uh, available on top of that. And what that was initially designed for is if you go to your local hardware store, you're able to buy uh, self-locking nuts and you can go ahead and put those on so you don't have any issues with the props flying off in flight or having any issues that if a prop touches, it uh, spins off uh, uh, two of the prop nuts. So that is definitely there. If you don't like it, use your Dremel, chop it off. No problem, So, but you've got ample uh, shaft length on that as well. Now it does come with your standard two millimeter connectors on the bottom, so it will plug into uh, your Afro 12s uh, straight out of the box, so no problems there, or Multistar uh, 10s if you got those as well. So it's ready, uh, ready, set, go on this motor. Now I have been personally testing these motors. I know, I know, tough job, right? But uh, they're absolutely a uh, beast. Uh, this is my test rig, which uh, we showed off uh, when we introduced the long frame kit on the FPV uh, 250, and uh, they're just crazy on power. Um, absolutely love these things. I'm getting about eight minutes of flight with 1300 milliamp pack and this thing is 
portly. It's pretty heavy. It's uh, pushing well over 500 grams with everything on it, with the OSD and the, uh, the Mobius and uh, telemetry radio FPV. So anyway, it's got plenty of power. All right, enough of me talking about this thing. Let's go ahead and put it on the, uh, the prop tester and get some information as far as thrust and amps on this so you can do your own calculation. Uh, give me one second and get this mounted up. All right, now that we got those specs out of the way, let's go ahead and throw this on a little bit of a load test and check out what the, uh, the prop data tells us about this particular motor. Uh, so right now I've got a 5.3 uh, Gen Fan uh, C on it, which is a carbon prop, and we'll also throw the, uh, the 5.3 three blade on there just to compare the two to see where you're at as far as power and efficiency on this motor is, uh, as well as overall thrust. I'm gonna do two tests. I'm gonna stop this motor at two points. First one is gonna be all out power, just to see how much lift we've got out of this uh, particular motor and how many amps we're pulling, make sure we're well within the range of our ESC. And the other one is what I consider a hover test. How many amps are you gonna pull in a hover on this particular motor so we can uh, judge basic uh, normal flight with this, uh, your, your flight time uh, based off of this motor. So uh, first test, we've got the uh, 5.3 uh, Gen Fan on there. I'm gonna bring it up to on the weight scale. Now what I've calculated out is most 250 size quads out there, uh, depending on FPV gear and Mobius cameras, et cetera, et cetera, anywhere between 400 to 500 grams all up weight. Some a little heavier, some a little lighter, but I'm just gonna shoot for a, a round figure of each motor having to lift in a hover about 110 grams per motor. Um, so I'm gonna shoot for that as my first stopping point, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, our, uh, our amps on this, and we'll go ahead and record it down. So here we go. Let me get this zeroed out. Okay, now that first test done with this prop, uh, I stopped right at 110 grams. Like I said, uh, we figured that out as being our hover thrust uh, for most uh, 250 quads, and I was pulling 2.5 amps uh, in a hover. So let's times that by four, you're right at 10 amps. So you can go ahead and kind of get a base on what your uh, flight time is gonna be. Most uh, little 250 quads are flying on about a 1300 milliamp battery. Uh, so with that, uh, with 300 milliamps reserve, um, you know, in theory it's saying 10 minutes, but you know, eight minutes, no problem uh, with this particular prop and uh, motor setup if you're within that range. Now, full out power at max power, I was at 240 grams at 7.6 amps. So well within the range of our Afro uh, 12 series ESC, which I've got set up uh, on this right now, which is definitely the recommended uh, ESC with this motor and prop combination. So as you can see, lots of power. All right, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and throw the uh, three blade uh, plastic prop on there just to compare it to the Gen Fan prop uh, and we'll get a baseline. Uh, and obviously uh, compare the difference, cheap uh, plastic props versus uh, uh, carbon props. Obviously there's gonna be a little bit of difference in efficiency there. All right, give me one second. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this test again and see where we're at. Okay, so with that one in the hover test, we're about 2.9 amps. So it's definitely a little more, uh, obviously you got three blades and they're less efficient, uh, uh, you know, three blades versus two blades. Uh, but our max power on that, we we're getting 255 grams of total thrust on that at 7.7 .7 amps. So it's uh, a little more powerful prop, but it does pull a little more amperage. So if we take that and times it by four, that's over a thousand grams of thrust. I mean, that's two to one on most of these micro quads, even more on some of them. So it's a beast of a motor, depending on what prop you go with. And if your frame can actually accept a, uh, a larger prop, say a six inch prop, even better. This motor will handle it uh, quite well. The 22 uh, millimeter on this is definitely bigger than the, uh, the 1704, so it's definitely got the torque in it. So it'll handle a six inch prop, absolutely no problem. So this is the, uh, the Baby Beast motor. It's the uh, new Multistar 2206 motor. It's designed for the, uh, the micro little 250 millimeter uh, FPV racer style quads out there. 
absolutely awesome. Check it out. It's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.